Um, I'm Luster, I'll be a commentator for this run, and I'm joined by Fupio here. Oi, hey. Fupio. I'm doing fine, just a bit, uh, a bit nervous, but uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, everything will be fine. I, yeah. I'm sure the rando will be okay this time. Yeah, this, uh, this time, <laughs> not like the practice room. <laughs> Okay, so this is gonna be a run for uh, Ori and the Blind Forest Randomizer. Uh, if you don't know Ori and the Blind Forest, this is a, a 2D platformer, random uh, Metroidvania. So it has a great soundtrack, great visual. But today we're not here for playing the vanilla game, we're here for the randomizer. So if you don't know what is what is randomizer, uh, really quick, we take all the items that can be picked up in the game, we put them in a bag, we shuffle the bag, and we put them back in the world and in a way that the seed is still finishable, the game is still finishable, so... Yeah, everything will be randomized, so it will be pretty cool, I think. And uh, I think we can be ready to start. Yeah, just a precision about that. We have two uh, two strange things about the randomizer. The, the first thing is a restriction. I have to, to take all the trees in the world, which are the location where you normally get new skills from. And I also have the clues, and clues are a way to obtain the uh, the dungeon keys in um, in this game. Like you'll need at least two dungeon keys, uh, one for Ginzo and the other one for Oru, because uh, in uh, in Ginzo you have a tree you have to collect, in in, in Oru you have the final escape, which you have to complete in order to finish the game. Yeah, those clues will be very helpful. So yeah, uh, are you are you ready? Yeah, I am. Okay, starting to from five, four, three, two, one, go. So this is gonna be the start of the seed. Um, for the moment, we don't have any skills, so it's gonna be pretty slow pace at the beginning. Hopefully we'll get some skills that will make it more quick. So we're gonna see what our First item will be when uh, when Fupio collects an item. There's a text box that shows up and actually tells him what he picked. So this was a map stone. So no utility for now. Um, every skills will be indicated in, in green. So if you see a green text and I don't see it now, um, it can be huge, <laughs> actually. So for now we're just collect. We're just going to collect uh, our first weapon, which is going to be sign our only weapon actually. So this is what uh, makes Ori fire enemies at. So yeah, this is going to be useful for the majority of the game, I think. Yeah, I will use it like right now. I'm gonna skip that fight by using uh, Alt plus R, which is a feature the, the added by the randomizer in order to prevent soft locks. And we'll start using it on some bramble in order to uh, to get out of the randomizer of the teleporter area. Yeah, the randomizer actually had uh, some cool feature to the game, which are not present in vanilla. So in vanilla, you can only teleport uh, when you are on the spirit swell. Um, here, you can just press Alt Air, which is uh, the combination of key to get it, and you'll open the teleportation menu, and you can actually use it like everywhere so this is pretty useful uh, it can be used to collect some items that will be harder to collect uh, like the, um, the xp we're going to see uh, in the water later but for now um, we're collecting kistons and they're gonna be useful to pass the first door of the game so that's Ooh. oh charge and oh that's going to be a very interesting set so this is the xp i was talking about so what is charge jump? um charge jump is like this, you know, uh, a very, very powerful jump that um, enable us to get a lot of verticality, uh, which is pretty useful in the game. Also, it's a very, very useful ability. Um, very, you know, it is the our 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 movement in the game. They're gonna be more easy, and also it damage enemies a lot. So it can be used to fight bosses, for example. So for now, um, we have a pretty common start, except the charge jump thing. Um, because we are just going to clear Glades, which is the first area of the game. Hopefully finding some useful thing and probably getting our first tree here, which is full jump. They're gonna be 10 trees, 
which are the basic skills of the game, which are randomized. And yeah, once we get all of them, we'll probably process to the final escape and finish the game, but that's for another time. <laughs> yeah, right now I'm just gonna go grab the tree and go to, to BRB. Like there's a tree right below us. Uh, this is the place where you normally got a uh, wall jump. But uh, of course it's a randomizer, it's not gonna be, uh, gonna be that. Yeah, of course. But maybe it's something useful. Maybe. Very maybe. <laughs> yeah. well, I'm not really concerned about that because um, charge jump is enough for uh, the majority of the early game, so... Yeah, charge jump, as I said earlier, is pretty, pretty powerful, so... For most of the early areas, it's gonna be enough. Uh, but once we once we clear those areas, we're gonna need some other things to clear some doors that can be that can't be opened with charge jump, etc. So um, that's why we head to BRB right now. So Fripio here is going uh, is doing a glitch, which is uh, called the Save Anywhere. Um, this is a uh, menu storage. Uh, you quit and you enter the menu at the same time, so the game doesn't behave very well and keeps the menu while you can still move in the world. And that that enables us to just put um, to upgrade an, uh, an ability everywhere we want. And actually, upgrading an ability happens to save the game as well. So that's why it's called a save anywhere. Sometimes names are accurate. <laughs> Um, and it's gonna be used quite a lot uh, in this run because uh, actually saving during a cutscene, which is possible with the save anywhere, um, enables to, uh, to actually skip the cutscene. So yeah, pretty pretty huge time save most of the time. So for now we are progressing in Blackwood Burrows area. So a very dark area which is a bit a bit tedious in in casual play but as you see with charge jump is quite easier <laughs> so that's the beauty of the randomizer to be able to use some other abilities that you gonna... shouldn't be able to use in casual so taking a bit a bit of a death falling into the, the pit yeah, I got twirled by by the uh, shot jump uh, coyote frame, and then the, the slime was just in place where I couldn't uh, kill him easily. Yeah, you must remember that actually um, at this point of the game, you don't, we don't, we don't um, have found uh, wall interaction. Oh. So no wall jump, no climb. So basically, we when we see a wall, we just slide the wall. We can't, we can't climb it. And I guess I take a pretty big death because I didn't save again after getting the, uh, the Ooh, orb. So, so you <laughs> need to take the orb again. Yeah. Yeah, in, in Blackwood Burrows there is an orb, this orb, that needs to be carried to an altar, uh, which is a bit farther. And the orb starts to follow you only when you pick, pick it up. So, yeah. If you, if you die after picking it up, you need to pick it up again, so... That's what happens. Yeah, and you need that orb in order to activate that uh, uh, that mechanism, uh, mechanism which opens the, the next room. And in the next room we are up for a little platformy thing. Uh, it's just some time to kill, chill on the platform. And uh, just after this platform there is a lever which uh, activates the altar and just after that you need to put the orb in the altar so, um, but we won't uh, actually do it I mean not normally uh, we'll put a save anywhere again uh, which not gonna skip the cutscene but we're gonna have movement during the cutscene uh, which is gonna let us time to actually check up some other items is here at those crusher we're gonna cheese them Go over, do a little dance, and uh, yeah, take three, and that will be our second tree. So with the second tree, that means we are one tree away for our first clue. So as Whoopio explained uh, earlier, 
there is a clue for each dungeon key and it will be each third three so at three at six and at nine and those keys are mandatory only um, at least for two of them so having a clue is really really helpful so getting this clue early can help us to to know where to head at yeah, i took an uh, intentional death here in order to glitch out the, the lever um, this lever is used in order to uh, to open that door right here but as soon as you um, stop using the, the lever uh, it's supposed to, uh, to go down, but since I glitched that lever, it still thinks the, that uh, I'm, I'm trying to push it out, so it gives me enough time to to go there without getting the, the dash ability. Yeah, otherwise this, this area would be gated by, by the dash ability, so it's we're pretty much in a... Um, in um, how do you say that again? Um, yeah. I don't remember the word anyway. Um, we are, we're not, you're not supposed to be here, so all those pickups here are actually not in the logic because every seed has a logic. Uh, it means that um, we have some pickups that are available. In those pickups, there will be some kind of progression. Usually, it will be a skill or a TP. And this TP or this skill will expand the items that are available. And in those new items, there will be a progression, etc., 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 until we finish the seed. So getting in a, um, in a sphere uh, later in the pickups um, can be useful to find useful pickups that will be very far in the logic and can can help us to very accelerate the seed. Yeah, and the, I think the word we were searching for is sequence break. Which I'm also doing uh, right now. I'm doing what uh, what's called as Franky work. So I'm using that Franky in order to to get a level up. Uh, the idea is uh, I'm gonna put two energies in that door. This Franky is gonna jump at me, die, and I'm gonna level up from XP. And one effect of um, of uh, leveling up in this game is that you you get back all of your energy and your, and your health. So I. Uh, I can open that four energy door with only two available, but I'm, I still can't g get across there because I, I will need some wall interaction uh, for that, which I don't have right now. So we, uh, we're gonna go back to to glades and get some other pickups. Yeah, pretty much. Um, actually, like this uh, this trick, like that you that you explained the front walk is a trick a trick from the speedrun itself. So. The rando and the speedrun are actually interacting like in some some mixed way. Yeah, um, sometimes the, the speedrun helps with tricks that are used in the speedrun and sometimes actually tricks that are used in rando just picks up on the speedrun on the speedrunning scene and are able to save some sometimes. So this is a pretty pretty interesting situation. Yeah, as an example, um, the next, the, the last, oh, oh sandstone. Sandstone. Um, the last um, big route changes in uh, in this game was because of the randomizer, um, because uh, the randomizer found out about uh, swamp entry, which shares uh, something letting you go to swamp without uh, getting the uh, the clean water uh, from the um, the Ginzo escape. Which saves like about f about fifty seconds. Or yeah, 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 uh, quite sizable amount of time. And yeah, we we found sunstone. So if you want to speak about that, yeah, sunstone is actually one of our uh, keys to dungeon. This is the key to the to the last dungeon, Oru, um, which is the one um, which have the final escape. So that's one mandatory things out of the way. Now that we have it. Yeah, and we're gonna get by uh, my third tree, so we might get a clue uh, about uh, the other uh, important uh, dungeon key. Yeah, with this tree, it would be very helpful to have a clue <laughs> about water vein, and that's what we got. Uh, but it is in Forlorn, and Forlorn is like uh, the second dungeon of the game, so basically you need 
the TP of the dungeon or the key of the dungeon. And yeah, you know, the keys are not easy to find. <laughs> so it can be very, very, it can be very trolly, I think, but I've, I'm sure we'll, we'll, we'll figure out a way. Yeah. Yeah, the idea is that uh, while we want to go to Oru and Ginzo in every seed, there's nothing we absolutely need to, to get in in for a normal... Oh, and climb. climb. Wall interaction. Yeah, and it's also a way to uh, to go to BRB, so... Like lower baby. Oh, yeah. Because when you have climb and charge jump, you can actually charge a, a jump from the wall and it will actually break all the the ground oh. that are the ground that are breakable in the game. So this is a very useful skill to find now because it unlocks some some areas like the lower portion of BRB, like with burrows. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna use it in order to go to to go to because uh, now I have what uh, what we call wall interaction, which is basically a skill which let uh, let us um, climb uh, trees, which is either climb uh, wall jump or either double jump. And I'm gonna be able to use it in order to climb that wall, which I wasn't able to uh, to do before. Yeah, and I guess the choice of Grotto is because, you know, there is one tree and it's also a very dense area in terms of, of pickups. So most of the time you'll prioritize um, area where there is a lot of checks you can do with pickups and, you know, you can get useful things, so it will be very useful. Yeah, definitely. And there's also the fact that I don't really have uh, anything to make uh, BAB like fast. So for now we uh, we're just doing what seems the fastest to me. Yeah, and you know, getting one tree is always getting closer to the end. Yeah. And that's Gumo. He's stealing the water vein, but in this game the water vein is randomized, so I don't know what he have in his hands. We're gonna f uh, find out like pretty soon. Oh, I should have. Uh, do I say? I, f I thought I had enough uh, energy. Like every time, we open a SA to just skip the cutscene. Yeah, and this one is pretty important. Yeah, because otherwise you will be sent uh, at the bottom of Roto, and you can check the the items that are above, like right now. Okay. Now, you, with this glitch, you can. Yeah, and Guma was just uh, stealing 39 experience, which oh, is pretty much useless. <laughs> it's just stealing random things, actually. Yeah, when I'm saying that experience is useless, it's not quite uh, quite fair because uh, it can be pretty. Ooh, oh, gosh! That's yeah. pretty cool. Um, yeah, experience can be pretty useful because um, every time I'm doing an, um, a save anywhere, I'm using um, an ability point, so I definitely need more um, more, in, uh, more experience in order to get those ability points. I'm gonna... Ooh. Oh, grenade! <laughs> okay, so a lot of things. First, dash, super powerful. I'm gonna use it everywhere. Second, uh, um, grenade, not as powerful, but it enables this. <laughs> Yeah, uh, now we can do grenade jumps, uh, which are very, very powerful. Uh, it's actually a technique that requires three skills, so it's kind of a three force. You know, you need climb, you need charge jump, you need grenade. So it's not, it doesn't happen in every seed, um, but it happens in this seed. And as you can see, you just charge, charge from the wall and get incredible speed um, in the speed run. This is actually frame perfect, so you have to do two inputs at one frame apart. Uh, here, uh, the randomizer had some kind of ease of access and for more fun, you know, um, we can do the grenade jump with just one bind. So it's pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Oh, well, I don't really care about that ability sign anyway. So now it's cleaning, cleaning Roto, taking most of the pickups that are actually fast. And he will be heading to um, the, the the tree 
of the grotto area, which is double jump. Yeah, so if you have any donation, you can yeah, you can go ahead. Thanks very much. Um, so, I want to say, first of all, next up, we do have a uh, really exciting um, challenge, potentially, uh, for the upcoming run Fury. Um, we have a donation incentive of $500, uh, and if we meet it, everyone will be fighting the final boss blindfolded. Um, and bearing in mind, the bosses in Fury uh, include direct combat, they include bullet hell modes. Um, so, I mean, you definitely want to see that, even if everyone can't. So, um, definitely do get your donations in for that. Um, and secondly, we also do have some fabulous prizes up for grabs. Anybody who donates a minimum of $10 or more uh, will be in the chance, uh, in for a chance to win a prize. Uh, for a full list of prizes, you can type exclamation prizes in the chat. Yeah, back to you guys. And yeah, we'll collect just double jump, which is here. And after that, you, where you will be going? Uh, I'm probably gonna go to Forlorn actually. I found the teleporter for Forlorn and I know that water vein is there, so I'm just gonna go ahead. Yeah, pretty handy oh. to find the teleporter, isn't it? Yeah, uh, I just teleported to to Sorox and it's actually like maneuvering is hard on controller, no? Yeah, controller has been has been a thing like in this game where you know people are usually saying that KBM is much better but actually like Randall makes things more equal and had some really cool thing that makes a lot of a lot of the keyboard only thing only possible on controller which is cool so now we were in the second dungeon so this is Forlorn, there is some ice everywhere and normally you would get all those items where, uh, with an orb that uh, modify the gravity but we won't do that because that's actually slow so <laughs> carrying the orb is always very slow and we have charge jump, we have grenade agents so yeah, we're pretty much zooming through the area I mean not now because we are kind of struggling but so we're gonna take all those items. There is not a lot of items in Forlorn actually. Uh, there is, I mean, 10 of them or something like that. So this is not gonna be a long search for the water vein. But some items are very out of the way, so we may be here for a sizable amount of time if we're not lucky. Oh, that's the orb I was talking about. We're yeah. actually using it. Yeah. I'm I don't really have to because I have shot jump, but you know, at least Th that <laughs> is safe. <laughs> yeah, mm. yeah, it's safe, and also I'm. Uh, it's fine to just uh, showcase what uh, the game is supposed to look like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you break it, and after that, you say it's safe. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> doing those grenade jump everywhere. So here we're taking advantage of a auto save that actually like. Oh. Happens after you watch the cutscene of the entrance. Okay, so this is not here, so yeah, um, this is gonna be I... the far right of Forlorn, I think. Yeah, the it's only gonna... pickup remaining. Yeah, uh, there's, um, there's actually a pickup I'm afraid of because uh, one of these pickup is um, uh, is locked beyond um, beyond Stomp, so. Yep. Yeah. So we might need Storm to get our water vein, so if that's the case, that will be a bit unlucky for us, for the moment, at yeah. least. And we're gonna check uh, check that out, like, um, right now. Because yeah. there's only one pickup I can still get in Forum, so... Just gonna learn uh, Charge Dash, which is a really powerful uh, upgrade of, um, of Dash. And I'm gonna use it right here in order to extend my hitbox and enter um, a cutscene trigger from uh, the wrong side of the door, which is gonna save me for keystones. Yeah, that's pretty pretty handful. And if you don't, if you have played the game very at an old time in the vanilla version, uh, you may not know the charge dash, even if you actually played the definitive edition. Um, this is a dash that is pretty much on steroid. Um, this is a l this has a lot of use in speedrun. Um, here we don't have a lot of energy, so I don't know if Pugio is going to use it a lot. 
Yeah, I guess I'm gonna use it sometimes, but uh, having grenade jump makes uh, charge dashing pretty useless. Yeah, usually yeah. you'd be very, very pleased to have actually the charge dash. But since we have grenade jump that early, um, yeah, okay. it's less of a thing. Oh, and that's why the rain, so on the, on the escape activation. Yeah. Okay, so I won't need stomp, and I think I'm already in go mode. Um, yeah, you might be, actually. Yeah, I have um, I have everything I need, I think. I'm just gonna teleport out of there and go back to, to BRB. So what we mean by go mode is like, um, we have all the abilities that we need to finish the seed, so we just need to go to the objectives, which are the trees, and then when we have the trees, we'll go to the final escape. So now it's gonna be zooming and not uh, checking a lot of items, maybe those yeah. are on the way, but oh. I don't think so since we are in go mode. Uh, I'm st I still need some because because I don't have enough air for uh, the final escape actually. Oh yeah, the swim is gonna be a bit of a thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So yeah, in this final escape there is a swim. Uh, normally the water should should not be poisoned in the vanilla game. Because you collect the, um, the clean water in the first dungeon, which actually clean the water and make it not poisonous. Uh, but here we don't have clean water. This is a pickup that you can find, but we don't have it. So um, basically there is a swim in the final escape, which we need uh, at least um, 5 HP if we have bash. If we don't have bash, we need more than 5 HP. I don't, in I don't know the numbers. Uh, I think it's 7. Uh, I actually practice that, and I think I'm, you can do it in, with only six, but I'm pretty com uh, not really comfortable with that, so I'm going with seven. So yeah, we are kind of in the mode, but we need or some HP or some bash to have less HP <laughs> to collect, or some stomp to go faster in the water, so we can have uh, some some less damage boost to do. So there's still something to find, but we're pretty much in good shape right now. Another save anyway here to skip a cutscene. This one is uh, like the longest in the game, I think, so... Oh yeah, you're gonna pro also probably collect the Ultra Defense, I, ge I guess. Yeah, I am. I'm going forward, forward it, and I also get the Spirit Light uh, upgrade. So it's absolute. Um The Spirit Light uh, upgrade is... Um, is um, something the randomizer add in, which uh, doubles the amount of uh, experience you, you get from pickups. So, which is very useful. Yeah, <laughs> because like um, I was talking about ultra defense. Uh, if you don't know what it is, it is uh, an upgrade in the in the tree, um, in the upgrade tree, which is actually reducing by two the damage you take. So I was I was talking about damage and the poisonous water. So yeah. This can be pretty useful <laughs> for us. Yeah. So right now, there's a lot of possibility on what we can collect to pass this water. And we're collecting the Chardon tree. And if you have some donation, you can go ahead, I think. Ooh. Thank you very much. We have a $10 donation from Dedu, uh, who says, I'm so happy to finally see Ori Randomizer at a marathon. Thank you, Frupio, for showcasing it, and shout out to the amazing Ori speedrunning community. Thanks very much for the donation. Really appreciate it. Yeah, shout outs to the community, which is actually wonderful. Uh, I've been there for five years, and yeah, I'm taking, taking a blast, actually. So we are one tree left? No, I don't know. Um, keep the count. Yeah, I have six. No, uh, four trees. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I have swamp, this one, and climb and bash. So, yeah. Okay. So we still have some areas to, to traverse, actually. Oh, so, oh one SL. I think one SL and uh, Ultra Defense should be enough. Uh, I think so. Yeah, so if, it, if that's the case, we're pretty much in. in Gumut for real this time. <laughs> yeah. So that's another skill we collect. We collect the feather. Yeah. This time it's not a tree. It's just the feather of Kuro, which is actually the, antagoni the antagonist of the game. 
And yeah, we'll we'll see Kuro in in a few moments uh, in the final escape. We'll have to get a little chase with her. And now I guess we're going to Misty. Yeah, I'm just gonna reload because I passed through the uh, um, the kill trigger in Valley, so I couldn't have um, saved back during that wall section if I didn't reload it. Yeah, when you enter the um, the, mist, the the valley section the first time, there is a cutscene, and there's also a kill plane, which is, which actually kills you because Kuro is here uh, in in her rock and actually killing us if we if we approach. So, um, hope you actually stacks the cutscene with the the trigger to pass this area without no, without a problem. So that's why you needed to uh, reload. And now we're in the Misty section. And we're abusing post floats, um, which are actually um, a, uh, a trick that was not found in BF. Actually, it was found in We Love the Wisp, which is the sequel. But the game shares some similarities, so it is possible in the two games. And yeah, we have used it a lot in BF uh, during the past, the past year especially in the beginning of the game and actually what is post float is like you go in the exit menu and that resets your falling speed so this is like a glide but without glide so yeah it's pretty much useful <laughs> and you don't have to have any abilities to use it so that's pretty much free in the randomizer so that replaces most of the challenge of the area where you have to control your your fall during the, this, this section? Yeah, this section is pretty much a glide tutorial, so... Alright. So we're getting the 8th tree. 8th tree. Yeah, and I'm gonna go to, to Swamp. To oh. collect the stone tree. Yeah. Which is gonna be our 9th uh, one. And you have, the, you have a lot of way to enter Swamp. There's actually a lot of ways there's uh, the entrance which is here uh, i don't think this is the entrance, well, the entrance the is actually <laughs> the escape but uh yeah we're not gonna do the escape of the first dungeon because that is that is slow <laughs> um so yeah this is still a speed run even if it's a randomizer so we're going this area um to this area by us. this entry which had poisonous water and a wall you can break with uh, grenades and we don't have uh, a lot. We don't had a lot of opportunity to, to talk about the blue breakage, but this is what uh, grenade is used for. I mean, partly. So having it right now is a pretty good thing. So yeah, that's the place we, you end up when you finish the first escape of the game, and you collect clean water at this moment, and the, po the, the water is not poisonous. Right now the water it seems very clear, but trust me, it does damage. And it's the same in the escape. Oh, I oh. It. What he tried to do is a rocket jump, which is a thing you can do with C dash. You can actually fake C dash on enemies and go way up in the sky. It's it's, it's good. But it's not a grenade jump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, the thing is, grenade jump is limited to having um, a wall next to you, and you can't really go uh, like really far in the air with it. You you really need more uh, more walls in order to to get more uh, over climbs from. Yeah, grenade jump excels in horizontal movement, but it's not very that good on. Um, on vertical movement because you have access to only a 45 angle so yeah the, the abilities in the game even if they are glitches because because grenade jump is glitches rocket jump is glitches it ashes is, glitch, is glitches are actually um, compensate their weakness which is actually interesting and what is so good about this randomizer I think about the speed tech in the game in general so now we have the eighth, the ninth, ninth tree. So we have just one more, which is in the first dungeon of the game, the Ginzo tree. 
And that's why we collected the water vein in in Forlorn. So now we can enter the tree and collect the bash tree. Yeah, a tree in a tree. You, I don't know if you follow. <laughs> um, and that's actually the split name of someone I know. <laughs> that's why I was laughing about it. Um, and this dungeon is all about verticality, so having charge jump here is pretty useful. Uh, it helps break all the platforming section of the game. Usually you, you won't have like this many abilities uh, when traversing the area. So, yeah, this is pretty much a walk in the park, if I can say so. Yeah, jump pads are just impossible to activate, that's <laughs> all. Okay, there's this just section that's gonna be a bit of a problem, but no, you, you have charger, so no! <laughs> Obviously, no. There is a little, a little puzzle section we need to actually redirect. Uh, Fupio is trying to use the, the char dash to cut out some redirect, redirection, which will help save time, but he can pretty no, much I get can, it. I can't anymore, so... Did I stop? No, I think I no, can. No, I think you can. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> you're not supposed to to put that thing here. Yeah, we're going to do it in casual. Like, casual, like, still in... Uh, no, like still, still not casual, yeah. but... Casual, but... Casual plus plus. Yeah. The fun thing is, now I, I understand why they they put two portals uh, in... two in portals into the same out portals. It's just in order to avoid uh, people soft like me doing... Yeah. <laughs> doing uh, getting soft lock by pushing for... Uh, <laughs> the, and there's the a boss, the and it's gonna disappear pretty quickly. Yeah, and you don't see why... It's oh, not quickly. Yeah, quickly enough. <laughs> Usually you would have just... Uh, spirit flame and charge flame at this point and the boss would take ages But now we just we can just do it in one cycle if we are actually fast enough Okay, I got every, everything I need like gonna spend everything to to get ultra defense Yeah, we have enough keystone for this door. Oh, that's a lot of XP. Yeah I mean, uh, we don't. We still don't know where where uh, the Gumon Seal was. It's it probably yeah. So I'm guessing uh, Gumon Seal is somewhere underwater, and clean water is pretty impossible to get. So yeah, in this in this situation, we are pretty pretty pleased that we can actually sequence break because otherwise the logic would do would would require us to do some really long long thing. And yeah, that's that's pretty much. Yeah, I'm checking up uh, over because even even for I don't really need to because um, I would like, if possible, to to find Bash, which is like the um, the ability of this game. Yeah, that would make for an easier escape, I guess. Yeah. So we're checking just because this this area has pretty dense pickup, so it's pretty quick to check and have a lot of things so having something here doesn't cost a lot of time um, but we don't need them it would just be like more comfortable for us and also less less risk of dying in the escape <laughs> <laughs> yeah and this wall section is like a bash tutorial so I'm supposed to to, to use it everywhere but uh, we're just gonna damage boot through everything. Okay, so now I think we are ready for the final escape, I guess. Yeah. Or are you still checking some things? Uh, well, I don't need to, to check things. I'm just gonna go to, uh, to the final escape. Okay, let's go. Uh, so I want to go to Swamp. So the final escape is like the final challenge of the game. Um, normally you would do all the dungeon, but um, in the randomizer we have some kind of open dungeon open dungeons um, in the way that uh, every pickups are more or less accessible at the beginning of the dungeon um, which is easier for us when uh, which is more comfortable for us when there's actually uh, pickups in all because in a long time ago seeds that would have uh, skills in all would would have been a nightmare so <laughs> now it's a little, little less a nightmare. Yeah, I mean, 
in some way uh, the old one was maybe better because everything in you know was like stomp lock and it's not anymore yeah yeah but actually that is a good thing for us since we can just go to the final escape right at the beginning uh, so uh, oh. Are you doing the work or will you do the boss? Or is it is it opened? Um, I'm gonna... Uh, no, it's not open. You have to, to do the mini boss, but I'm just gonna do uh, the work. Okay, the work is like um, a trick that uh, that is used when you enter the first frame... Uh, when you enter a door, the first frame the game loads, uh, it actually... it actually warps you at some incorrect places. And for the... for the entrance of the other dungeon it happens to be a very very cool place because it's the end of the dungeon so yeah with the um, with the the entrance door you can go at the end and that's pretty useful in speeder and also in randomizer so yeah that was the door now we are at the end of the dungeon and yeah i'm just gonna go get yeah, the collecting the validations <laughs> yeah yeah and now we just have the the final escape remaining so this would be a challenge normally in the game. It has been less of a challenge when they had dash in the, to the game with a definitive edition. But I think with what we have, it's, it would be okay, I think. Yeah, well, it's still difficult to escape because I don't have much health and I'm gonna need to, to, do, to do a damage boost somewhere before the... Um, um, before the water, so... Yeah, Fupio actually can't afford to take a damage uh, in the escape other than in the water. Otherwise, it wouldn't be possible to complete the escape. But for now, I think we're pretty much in good shape. Uh, yeah, just... Yeah, I'm gonna die. <laughs> yeah, this is exact sections. Yeah. <laughs> the, the last uh, grenade job I did is pretty, pretty hard to... Ooh. Oh no. Yeah, the, uh, the last uh, grenade job I did is pretty precise. Um, and I got uh, I got the sand a little too, too far to the, to the left and it just threw me off in the rest of my movement, so... Yeah, doing little grenade jump in the escape shows how much this ability is actually OP. <laughs> oh no, uh, it's uh, possible. It's fine, it's fine. It's okay, it's okay. C'est bon, c'est bon, baguette, baguette. Baguette. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, nice. Pretty good. There's just the final section. We're gonna try to skip uh, a trigger. Yeah. So we right can here. skip the final cutscene tr calmly. And now there's a final grenade jump here. So this is a precise position with an angle at maximum. And it will allow us to skip a part of the final cutscene. About 40 seconds. So this is pretty huge, and we're pretty much at the end of our seed. Yeah. We're just gonna have to maintain right now. Yeah, I'm just gonna hold D instead. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do it on the keyboard for the memes, <laughs> right? I know that. Yeah, the meme is that someone was playing the, ga the game and just uh, alt tabbed in, um, into someone else's uh, streams. And they were holding D in order to finish that run and and send the messages in, uh, in the chat. and. So it was just... Uh, did, 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 did. Oh, sorry. Well. <laughs> I was just finishing the escape. And, and that's time. the time. I think it was a pretty good set. Yeah, a very fast one. So I did an uh, extra, uh, extra uh, checks because I didn't want it to finish the game in like 35 minutes. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it yeah, was very, uh, very f fun and... Um, and fast seed, so I'm gonna um, thanks uh, Muffin and Scar for vetting that seed. Yeah, they actually like scoot the seed for seeing that if something is unfinishable in the amount of time we do estimate is in, so thanks to them. Yeah. And uh, I think, um, yeah, I already shout out the community. They are great people, um, the, the international community, the French community as well. And there's something I must do because I must do that on every, 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 every commentating. Um, usually we actually do publicity for the randomizer, but we're in the in the randomizer run, so 
I was not knowing what to do, and Fupi actually told tell me that I can do publicity for the speedrun, which is actually pretty funny. So yeah, we have a great speedrun, and there is a lot of resources for those who want to those who want to get started. So uh, if you if you if you if you love the game, if you're interested, uh, don't hesitate to check out the Discord, uh, the the speedrun.com for the game, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I think. Yeah. If you want to play that window, you can do it uh, by yourself by going to orirendo.com and you should uh, find everything you need to, uh, from there or just join the, uh, the Ori Discord. And yeah, and yeah it's also a randomizer for Wheel of the Wisp. So, yeah, you know. if you like the same, yeah, you can do the same as well. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's all for us. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the run. I think it was pretty good for us. And see you. Brilliant, thank you very much. Was that uh, orirando.com? Yeah. yeah. Orirando.com if, uh, if you're interested in this. Thank you very much uh, for the absolutely fantastic run. Um, just to um, yeah, uh, remind uh, you why we're here, if you're interested, we are uh, ESA Summer 23. We are raising money for Alzheimer Funden, uh, the national Swedish funding, uh, fundraising organization focusing on Alzheimer's disease and other dementia-related diseases. Um, we've already raised over $9,000 so far, so thank you so much for your absolutely generous donations. Please do keep them coming. Uh, we'll be taking a short intermission, and then we will be bringing you uh, Fury being run by Evian, who's going to be doing uh, the classic speedrun mode. So, um, yeah, grab a cup of tea, grab a drink, whatever you like, and we will see you very soon.